let me talk about the pay gap between men and women. And this presentation is divided into three parts, introduction, main body, and conclusion. Um, the pay gap in the workplace between men and women is a popular topic. Up to now, the current um, wisdom is that the pay gap is caused by the men's control power in the workplace, as well as their dominance in a position in the society. In this presentation, we will review the problems and the causes from both um, women and men's perspective. Um, now let's move on to the main body part. Uh, traditional social factors come the first. In our society, males are given more expectations. Be successful and uh, have a good balance in work and life place. Under this kind of pressure, men are forced to take jobs with higher salary. Um, not only raising the family, but also for uh, re re responding those expectations. And the second one is about um, the preference of workmates. In most cases, males prefer that the business and uh, business and working partners are the males. Um, people tend to work with ones enjoying the sim uh, some similarities. As a result, more positions are occupied by men. Furthermore, the opportunity for career development given more to them. Therefore, men have more competitiveness in the workplace rather than women. So that's the reason why the pay gap be exists between men and women. Last but not least, let's talk about gender stereotype. Males stereotype of women are influential in a negative sense. From male's perceptions, females are less trusted and less employed in leading position with a handsome salary. And as a consequence of the discrimination, most, uh, most females receive unfair treatment uh, when they apply for the promotion, especially when they are pregnant. So that's the whole reason why the um, why there the there are the pay gap between men and women. Okay, next part. Let my partner to introduce the um, uh, the opinions uh, based on the female's perspective. My partner just told you why we agree with this. Uh, we agree with this theory, but maybe there are other more things can. Uh, can lead to the pay gap between genders. Firstly, it could be fem female's personal choice to do the job with less incomes. Some research researchers show that if women are satisfied in their working and their life-work balance, they are unlikely to choose the high-risk job, which can bring them high incomes. As for men, they prefer to choose the high uh, risky jobs. According to Goldberg, Crazy, and Randall Duff, men are selected as sexual potentials as their personal, uh, as their potential uh, to be a, a depression will remain them how willing to take the more risky risky job and set up business with higher financial performance. Therefore, it may be people's choice to do the job with higher payments or not. The pay gap between genders may cost by this reason. To expand on, attractive theory may also explain the pay gap between genders. Half showers indicate that when men and women do have children together, the biological impacts strongly influence their short-term choices. Other researches show that generally men intensify the commitment to wealth creation, while women intensify their commitment to child raising. In this situation, men may encourage a division of labor. In such case, women may put their Put more, uh, put their energy into the family part rather than focus on their uh, occupation promotion. So, 
To sum up, the pay gap between the male and female workers exists because of several factors. The man's power to control the workplace and man's dominant position in society generally perhaps can cause the pay gap by social factor, preference for workplace, and gender stereotypes. But other things like people's choice and attraction theory seems like sometimes they can explain this situation too. That's it. That's all our opinion about this subject. Thank you very much.